Raynard disease. Anybody know what that is? Comment below. Raynard disease is a um causes some area of your body, such as your fingers and your toes, to feel numb and cold in response to cold temperatures or stress. So stress can cause that also. In Raynard disease, smaller arteries that supply blood to your skin marrow, limited blood circulations to affected areas. Now with Raynard, I have Raynard. That is with the feeling of your hands right now, I don't have it. Maybe I should save it. I sh should have made it when I post it when I have it. But your fingers turn white. Or they be like blue. And they just tingle and they, they feel like they want to pop off. And you be just like in a freeze mode. You be freezing. And what I do, I try to run my hand under running water. Because I was reading, trying to see what I could do to help that problem. And I just sometimes just put my hand to my body. My hands, if I touch people, they say, you got cold hands. And I'd be like, no, that's Raynard. So one time I have a grandbaby and I touched him and my finger, my hands was cold. My mom was holding him and singing to him. And I touched him. I came and touched him. And I touched him with my cold hands. He looked at me and he pushed, he snug back. And I said, oh, that baby. And my mama said, oh, he knows your hands are cold. So I went to try to touch him again, and he snugged back again. So, um, yeah, it's very noticeable. And I would touch people's body, because by other people who are, I guess, in a little more healthy situation, their body temperatures are normal than mine. So when I would touch them, I would try to touch them to try to warm and relieve some relief to my hands. But that's a very uncomfortable feeling Raynard. It also, um, it could be in your toes also. Everything just good, like in a freeze mode. It feel like you want to pop off. And it look like the more, I could feel it when it's getting ready to come on. Because I get somewhere and I sit down. And people, people may say, so, X, Y, Z, or do this. I say, well, hold on a minute. Because my hand's cold. So if my hand's cold, I'm trying to avoid getting it to that point where they begin to turn blue. Like I said, white and blue. And they pain so bad. I'd be like, ooh, you know, want it to pass. Because it's a process how it goes through. And to get it to pass where I could become more normal. Because I tell you, you can't hardly touch anything. You can't hardly, if you see your toes, you really can't walk. You can't walk too much because it hurts so bad. It feels like you're walking on pins. But I know with my hands... I just get to a place and just kind of sit still and try to get whatever misbalances going on in this body. I try to get it to come on down and to get my fingers to come in. I, I see the red blood, my skin and my fingers, they begin to slowly come back to color. So I know that I'm getting better, but it lasts, I want to say about two, three hours. And comment on below if you can tell me how long you guys, if any of you have that Raynard disease, how long does you guys last? I think mine lasts like two or three hours. And sometimes um, all a bit of part of the day. But like I said, stress is a key factor. So I learned not to get stressed out and I smile a lot. And take it real easy because that Raynard pops in effect. And it goes off because um, a lot of times I can manage it if it's like cool temperature and I'm busy and I'm doing things because I've been involved in a lot of activities sometimes. So if my hands kind of cool, I'm okay. But when they start getting colder and colder, that is not a good feeling at all, at all. And I, again, I just, I get close to somebody and I go to touching on them and different things too keep them warm you know because they go in a real cold mode but the people that feel they say my hands feel like ice so those of you who are going through it you know just what i'm talking about how your hands feel and how they hurt and you can run them under hot water and it'll relieve it for that moment but look like as soon as you take your hand out the water it it goes right back to that because you're trying to make the blood come on back to your hands and everything to move and flow 
but that don't work. <laughs> I mean, it just don't work because I tried that. I tried reading to see all things I can do to try to um, help me with my problem. Now, they do have some Raynard gloves. I'm going to order me some of those to see if it can help, I guess, with compression or just to help heat insulate it because I did... They, I did was told I can get some heated gloves because this winter I've been going through um, a lot of Raynard episodes. But I know that's because I've been having some other little issues and things going on. So the Raynard has been occurring more often these periods of time. But um, I just wanted to get on here and holler about Raynard. I'm going to show a picture about Raynar also. I haven't bumped into anyone else that really has Raynard. But I know they are out there but just like with conversation they be like they always ask me, What's that? <laughs> Raynard, what's that? And I have to go on to explain to them about I have lupus and these are just one of the many symptoms that comes with the lupus. I have um SLE lupus. The doctor had to tell me I have an SLE lupus. So it's effect a variety parts of your body. It's just not affecting one thing like with Nick Cannon it it may fix one thing or with Tony Braxton it may fix another thing a heart. But mine it floats. It hit SLE goes to different ones. So it may affect your heart one time. It may affect your skin color one more t one time. You may have the butterfly rashes. Now thank God I haven't had that proper where they said it it comes in your face. I haven't had that. But I've had some other little things that go, but it said it just hits different places. But I do a lot to, I do a lot of um, meditating. I do a lot of reading. I do a lot of um, reading things for um, health purposes. And I pray a lot. So I know all of that, say all things, Romans eight twenty eight. all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. And I do love him. So I know everything is working out for my good. And I'm just going to keep on going. And I'm going to keep moving forward. Because I am a queen that's going to move forward in spite of that case. That the devil is a liar trying to say I have lupus and break me down. Make me feel some way. But I'm going to keep going because I know his destiny is greater for me. So like I said, I wanted this episode was talking about Raynard. And if you have that... With anything, you may not have to have lupus to have Raynard, but put a comment down there and tell me about how your Raynard and what's your episodes and things of how you do, because you may can help me and tell me some things what I can use to assist me in having my hands, because I said right now I'm having a lot of episodes, but I know that's because of stress, because of some health, other little health things I have going on, but comment, click and subscribe. This is ass at night, and the ass at night is my initials. If those be talking about what is ass at night, but it's a period, s period, s period at night. So I said at night because when I wake up the first part of the day, it's a slow start. With lupus, it's a slow start getting up. You just can't get up. It's a process of getting up. So at nighttime is generally when you start feeling like something. When a lot of people be getting ready to go to sleep, that's when you begin to feel like something and want to do a lot of things. So I say, you know what? That's when I would, um, hey, ass at night. So that's where that name for my channel comes from. So... Click subscribe and hear other things. I talk about so many other things with health issues. And um, eventually I brought on to other things and stuff like that. But right now I'm talking about lupus, lupus. And just exposing and inspiring because a lot of people don't know what lupus is. You know, they may say, oh, I think I know such and such got that. I got such and such. And they may say, where you got that from? I don't know where I got it from. <laughs> if I knew where I got it from, I'd send it back. <laughs> But I don't know. But this is just to add a little awareness to lupus. To let people know some things of what other people may be going through. Because they always say, well, you don't look sick. You don't look. I don't have to look like I feel. Because I've determined I'm going to get up, make myself up, or look like something. But you be sick. 
you be having all these little things going on, but that's just what lupus is. It's an autoimmune disease. So, Raynard is one of the things that affects you, amongst other things. But we keep moving forward. We keep smiles on our face. So, in closing, love and hugs straight from the heart from Ass at Night. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.